Hi everybody! As you know, I've been writing EPs based off of color. Now we're on orange. And I also wore a caftan, a 70s caftan in the last video. I'm wearing another one. They're from the same place. I found them um, in an abandoned attic. Led Zeppelin, um, just to name a few. And also some like, cause I know like funk and disco music is kind of like making a comeback a little bit, like with Dua Lipa. She's doing, she did that whole album and um, I know a lot of, like that new Doja Cat and SZA song that just came out, Kiss Me More, is very like, I feel like um, disco influenced. I mean, I grew up listening to that kind of music. My, on my mom's side, like on my mom's side, my parents were divorced, so my mom would play me all the disco music. My dad would play me all the rock music. So I got a little bit of both, but, um, yeah, so the three songs on this EP, um, they're called 39, Shifted, and Goodbye. This first song, 39, I had a different idea for a song and I had sent it to Mike. Um, Mike Manos is my co-writer, friend, producer, um, and I sent him the idea and we started working on it and just like weren't super we weren't really into it so we just decided to start from scratch and like i didn't have an idea any at all like i just i have lyrics in my phone though like just in case we want to write from scratch and i can like find something in there to use um and so he just picked up a guitar and started playing um the little guitar like acoustic guitar riff that you hear in the beginning and um he, he was just messing around and i was just kind of sitting there like looking through my lyrics and i found this one lyric i guess it was like a paragraph i had written um i don't even remember when i wrote it um but 39 is my angel number and i always wanted to have a song called 39 because that's that number just means so much to me it was my dad's baseball number growing up and then it became my brother's baseball both of my brother's baseball numbers it's still my youngest brother Wesley's baseball number um but I have been seeing it everywhere since I was a kid and once I started getting into angel numbers I understand more like what it means and and it's just so beautiful like every time I see 39 I'm always like daydreaming about something or or someone and every time I see that number I just know that like I'm on I'm on the right path I'm doing what I need to be doing and everything's gonna be okay anyways um so I had this paragraph in my notes and it said he said we get married at 39 a Pisces lover with a Gemini mind but what if we don't make it till we're 39 but my baby he believes in signs a mysterious force of divine time and that's all I had so I was just kind of like singing that and came up with the melody and then honestly after that the song just came super easy to me I wrote I like had this visual interpretation of where I saw myself in the song after Mike had like made the entire instrumental and I just envisioned myself like in a 70s room kind of like daydreaming about everything listening to records um and so I just like wrote down words just words like I think I wrote down rainbow honey dew sunflower um Fleetwood Mac just stuff like that and so after we had done like the first half that line that I just explained to you which the lyrics were changed a little bit like I didn't say I don't say 39 twice I say 39 and 35 and you'll hear it when you listen um but so yeah I I literally it was the easiest song I've ever written it was the crazy like it was so crazy to write and I wrote it I wrote it all that night, like then and there. Might not have recorded it, but I wrote it. Um, and I've never done that before, like just 
wrote it, I don't even know how long it took. Maybe like, it usually takes Mike and I to do like, like four hours. We do like four hour sessions. I just knew immediately that this song was like, gonna take me places. Um, I'm not sure if I cast a little spell in it or what, but I might've, I don't know. I don't know, but um, I mean, it's, it's a pretty cosmic song in itself because it's my angel number. It's my favorite song I think I've ever done, I've ever written, and um, the music video is also gonna be out this Sunday. So um, yeah, definitely keep an eye out on that because it's so awesome. And I don't wanna like give too much away because I kind of want it to be like super surprised, but so 39, my favorite. I've listened to it like a million bajillion times. I'm not tired of it. Cause you know, like as a singer songwriter, when you write your music, you have to hear it all the time, like in the mixing sessions. And so it, like writing it and then listening back a million ch times to make sure it sounds okay. So like sometimes you can get a little bit like sick and tired of hearing a song and you need like to put it aside for a bit. Um, before you listen to it again, but not with this one. I can I could literally like Just never stop playing it <laughs> and um, I would still love it. So and I think it's because it's It has a lot more to do with me and not with Other people if that makes sense like it's like this song is just me like it's if you like opened up my brain to see all my daydreams and like who I am as a person, um, that would be this song. So yeah, um, the second song is called Shifted and I'm so excited that um, Mike is actually singing on this song with me um, just because Mike is just an amazing singer and songwriter on top of being a producer too and um, he's going to be putting out his own music soon, which I'm super excited about, but you know, I, I've no, I noticed I'm very like, I like consistency. Um, and so I noticed that every second music video Mike was in, um, and he wasn't singing. So I, I texted him and I was like, what do you think of maybe just actually singing on <laughs> the second song so you can also be in the music video but this time you're singing it so um he was totally down and we actually had a completely different song in mind again um and we just realized that we it just wasn't a right fit so we kind of just like started from scratch again and um he found this like like spacey synth which you can hear in the beginning and I just thought it was like the coolest sounding thing ever. And I, I, I was like, okay, let's work with this. Let's do like, start with this. I really like it. Like, don't get rid of it. Um, and yeah, we just kind of like worked off of that. And again, my first verse came pretty easily to me. Um, I basically, cause I had already envisioned a music video for the other song we were working on. Um, like a very like, 1960s Austin Powers like secret Haitian thing in space I don't know um like I had a whole Pinterest board and everything so when we scratched that song and started working on this one and the spacey synth was in it it kind of just like worked pretty perfectly where I like envisioned where I was so I think that's why that, that song came pretty easy to write for me too just because I was like envisioning myself in space and um you know i've been going through a lot the past couple of months i've done a lot of self-reflection and growth and i've had to cut people out of my life and sometimes you know it just so happens to be and not even just like cut pe cutting people out of your life but just setting boundaries and stepping away and um shifting into your next person I guess because I mean us as humans we evolve and we change we're supposed to change like every month even if it's just like a little bit we shed our skin it's natural that's what's supposed to happen 
but most of the time us as humans it's human nature to like just want to just be comfortable and not change because it's easier it's easier to do that it's easier to you know brush it under the rug and and just keep being who you are but when you do that you become stagnant and miserable and sad and depressed and anxious because you're not sitting with your pain and that's something that like I've learned finally feel like I know who I am as a person and I've dealt with a lot of things I'm still not there but I've come a really really long way since who I was this time last year so this song is basically about that and I kind of did it in like a space analogy and in, in some like in a weird way like so I say I'm floating up high off the ground in my spaceship I'm spinning around and around the universe gave me a crown I've shifted now wave bye to me from the ground basically just saying like I've shifted I'm going to change I'm going to grow and you can watch me from the ground and wave goodbye to me, but like, I'm still gonna continue doing that. I'm really excited that Mike's on this song. It's such a good song. Like, I don't even know how it happened. It happened. Um, and I think you guys are really, really gonna like this one. Um, yeah, again, I really think this, this song is also gonna take me places, so. Um, I'm excited for you guys to hear it. This last song, it's called Goodbye, and I actually had it in my voice memos as folk song, um, because last year, um, in quarantine, I think, I think it was during quarantine, I had just moved to my dad's house because I lived with my mom full time and her house is always crowded. There's so many people there. So I decided I was going to go and stay with my dad because it would just be me and my dad um, and then my little brother every now and then. And there's a lot of space because um, I mean, who we didn't know like how long it was going to last, you know, and, and I didn't want to leave my mom's house. but. I didn't want to stay during quarantine. It was just going to be a lot for me. Um, so I moved to my dad's and so most of the time, like voice memos, like when I record my voice memos, they um, come to me when I'm asleep or trying to sleep. And so I just like, I usually quickly, like I'm like half asleep and I, I sing it into my phone and um, I came up with these three verses. And I mean, folk songs, they don't really have like an actual structure to them as much as a pop song does. Um, so that's what, how I knew it would be a folk song. Um, and that's why I named it that. When I started doing the color mixtapes, I knew that like that one was gonna be for orange because it was very, it's very Fleetwood Mac um, inspired. Um, Silver Springs is my favorite song and I really, really wanted it to kind of emulate that a bit. Um, and also Love Love Somebody by the Bee Gees and um, you know, Going to California by Zeppelin. And I could go on and on and on. But any of those songs like um, Till the Next Goodbye by St The Stones. So yeah, so I, I really wanted it to just be kind of like that. It's a very personal song for me because I was so stagnant and and stuck in that time, but I really didn't want to leave my mom's house. I really didn't want to give my dad boundaries because I didn't want to. I didn't want to get uncomfortable. Sorry guys, the full moon is tomorrow. It's like, you know, I get, I'm not an emotional person. My emotions usually come out in my songs. Um, so if you see me cry, then you know, it's like <laughs> something's going on. Um, but I knew 
that it had to happen. I'm basically just like the song, I'm just saying like, I love all these things and I know I have to give them up. And I'm basically telling like the people around me, like my mom and my dad, that it has to happen, but that it's gonna be okay because like we all have, we all have to like grow up at some point just because I change and I'm growing up. It doesn't mean that I'm a different person, you know? It just means that I have different wants and needs and beliefs in my life and that that's okay, you know? Like I'm not, like we're not meant to be the same people for the rest of our lives. That's just not what God intended us to be. He wants us to grow and evolve into the people that we're meant to be, into our best selves so we can help others. I know like most of my songs are vulnerable anyways, like, but they're like usually love songs. And so having this song on here is pretty vulnerable for me, as you can see, cause I'm like a mess right now. Um, because it doesn't have anything to do with anybody else. Like I'm not, I'm not sad and vulnerable about my like, my love life. It has more to do with me. And I mean, this, this um, EP as a whole is a very, this is me, this is what I'm doing. Um, change is amazing. And you all should do it too. Like, type an out type of album. It doesn't have anything to do. Like Blue was very romantic and had a like I wrote them about obviously about you know a boy. <laughs> but this it really doesn't have anything to do with that. It has more to do with like me. In the song like before I end this, um there are two lines in this in goodbye that I like I'm pretty proud of myself for and like I love so much. I say, um, you don't want me to change, but the comfort doesn't ease my soul. Because I don't want to be comfortable. You know? I wanna I wanna get uncomfortable to be comfortable. You know, and I, I think in order to find true peace, you have to do that. You know, you have to go through what you have to go through and you have to set up boundaries and you have to move out or do what you need to do because that's, you know, what's best for you. You have to, you have to be selfish and it's not bad to be selfish if it's for your life. Can be, you can still be selfless in, in other circumstances of your life, but you have to always like remember yourself first, even if it's in the back of your mind in any situation. Um, and just ask yourself like, oh, will this, will this benefit my life? Will I, or will I be harmed by this? Will this harm my soul moving forward? And then I think it's the bridge. I say, I'm done, I'm done writing off my dreams with hope. Um, so I'm basically just done sitting around being stagnant, hoping that my dreams are be gonna become reality. Like, in order to get to that point, I gotta put in the work, even if that means the work in myself. Because if you're going on a journey a bunch of suitcases and luggage is gonna it's gonna slow you down you're not gonna get to that ending point so um sometimes you just gotta drop off drop off the baggage leave it behind doesn't mean you're not gonna go back for it or you know won't end up in lost and found but in order to get to the place you need to get to you can't be held back in any way. But like I said, these three songs are um, my favorite I think I've done ever. 
and I know that these are gonna be the ones that take me places. And I'm putting that out in the universe because you know, it's also a full moon. And I really hope that you guys feel the same way and I hope that these songs and lyrics really touch your soul and mean something to you as much as they mean to me. And yeah. I'm also very emotional because I'm so excited for it to come out. Friday, May 28th, Orange, the last and final EP of the Color Mixtape Project will be yours. It'll be out to the world. Stay tuned for the music videos because you know I always have one for each song because it's fun. This Friday, May 28th, Orange EP, 39 music video out on Sunday, which I think is the 30th. The 30th. All right. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I know this is a very long video. Thanks for sticking through my tears. My baby believes in time, mysterious force of divine time, I think that I knew it was